Tennessee. Georgia. Tennessee. Georgia. Hey all, we are Hannah and Jeremy from The Savory Suitcase. Last week, we shared our time near Amicalola Falls, with Henry of course, and our hike to the waterfall. This week we head out from our dome cabin and leave the town of LJ and head towards the town of Blue Ridge where we will ride the Blue Ridge scenic train. But not before stopping at the LJ coffee house to try a few local brews. This area of Georgia is known as the apple capital of the world with many orchards and general stores to visit and enjoy some apple products. They also have some places to go apple picking as well. However, our trip was at the end of December, so it was a little past the season. We made a stop over at Mercer's Orchard, which is one of the largest apple orchards in the area with pies, jams, ciders, and cider donuts. Because we had Henry in the car with us, we went into the store separately and we got to do a mini apple haul from the parking lot. That they really do do apples as a bushel and a peck and I got two half pecks. <laughs> These are pink ladies and then crimson reds. And are you, what are you going to do with those? I'm going to make apple butter. Allegedly. One can of apple peach cider. Oh, I was gonna get a six pack. You can, I just didn't because I didn't. I figured you'd get I, a six of whatever you wanted. Yeah, probably. There's multiple. There's a blueberry. There's all kinds of stuff. 
peach butter. Oh, peach butter. And then an apple pie jam. Mm. Oh. I just got the six pack. Mm. And then blueberry scone mix. Mm. And one more. Apple streusel coffee cake mix. Accommodations for the next few days, we found a yurt style cabin to rent about five minutes from Blue Ridge. The cabin was well equipped with a full kitchen and it had one bedroom downstairs and one bedroom upstairs. There was no fireplace in this cabin, but they did have an electric heater and an outdoor fire pit. The next morning, we headed into Blue Ridge for our train trip. We found a local dog boarding facility where we dropped Henry off for daycare. Henry gets along really well with other dogs, so he always enjoys a day at camp. It's recommended to arrive to the train depot about an hour before your departure time, and we got there just early enough to see the train coming into the station for the first trip of the day.
We also had a little time to explore the downtown Blue Ridge area, as well as grab the essential cup of coffee. We booked our tickets a few months in advance, especially since we were traveling during a holiday week. We figured the ride would probably be sold out. You can choose to pick from a two hour or a four hour ride. The difference being a two hour layover in a small town on the Georgia Tennessee border. The line stretches 13 miles and runs between Blue Ridge and McKaysville and runs along the Tacoa River. The scenic rail didn't start out as a tourist ride, but it was built as the Marietta and North Georgia Railroad, M and NG, a narrow gauge intended to connect Atlanta with Northern points back in the 1800s. Eventually converted to the now standard gauge in the late 1800s, the railroad functioned for many years until the 1950s when due to factors like newer routes and reduced demand for train freight caused the line to shut down. In the 1990s, the residents of Blue Ridge organized to reopen the line as a tourist destination.
we opted for the four-hour ride with stops in McKaysville and Copper Hill, Tennessee, a city that straddles the Georgia and Tennessee border. There are shops, restaurants, cafes, and breweries to explore during this quick stop. Tennessee, Georgia. Some of the shops sit right on the state line, and we learned on our way back that whatever state the front door of the building is in, that's the state where the business registers and pays its taxes. That evening we took a scenic drive and found ourselves near Vogel State Park, which has a very impressive waterfall visible from a pull-off just off of the main road. We spent the next day just enjoying our cabin and celebrating New Year's Eve. And then on the 1st, we headed back home but made a quick stop just south of Atlanta at High Falls State Park, which is only about a 10 minute detour off of I-75.
This was a great stop to get out and stretch our legs and to break up that drive a little bit. It was also surprisingly picturesque, especially being so close to the interstate. Thank you guys for joining us for our North Georgia adventures. We have plenty more exploring planned for this next year, so please subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.